Hello everyone, this is Craig Chamberlain with the PC Machine at Tech Help Show. In today's video, I'm going to talk about a question that I'm commonly asked. What recording equipment do I use? And how do you produce videos in high quality definition um, <clears throat> and a very low budget? Um, well, I started out with a basic webcam that uh, was built into my monitor. You can actually see it right here. Um, and you just basically got to work with what you got when you're starting out. Um, there's no way around it. Uh, you'll find that a lot of people on YouTube are extremely forgiving. Uh, as long as you're genuinely trying to produce them quality content and give them what they want, uh, the rule of thumb typically is make sure your titles are good and make sure your title adequately reflects what your video is about. Uh, it's about being genuine. Uh, that's what people are really looking for more than high quality, high definition video. That being said, upgrading to high quality, high definition video will help. It'll actually create more of a production value. Um, I'm really not happy with the quality I'm in right now for these particular webcasts, but uh, due to my time constraints, I went to a webcam format, and I'm actually using the Logitech C510. Um, it is a 720p camera, but as you can see from this recording, it isn't as crisp or clear as you would, you know, a handheld cam. But you go with what you got. You know, I couldn't afford a $600 camera that can plug directly into my computer while I'm recording it and uh, record my audio separate, which is what I'm doing right now. So just on simplicity and deployment's sake, I, I opted for a cheaper camera because I can record it directly into my computer while I'm talking to you and I can produce it quicker. Does that make sense? So there's a there's a, it really kind of depends on what you're going for, um, but recording in high definition quality kind of depends on what, uh, what your budget is, of course, and uh, what software you have. That being said, I use for my screencasts Cam Studio. Uh, Cam Studio is kind of pricey. It's $300. Well worth the investment. It's hands down, if you're going to do screencasts on a professional level, it is the easiest most actually amazing piece of software you can use for that because it allows you to not only record the screen with a separate webcam like I was just doing in that video before this one, it also allows you to set a separate microphone, which I'm going to show you mine in a little bit. Um, well, probably won't show because I don't want it to pop when I pick it up. <clears throat> but it allows you to do all that in one piece of software and as soon as you're done recording, it'll drop it into a timeline and you can edit it and then produce it. So it's like a all encompassing screencasting tool. Uh, so if you guys have $300 and you're planning on doing screencasting professionally, it's, it's a no brainer. Um, for those of you who don't have the money, I do have a video uh, about what I used to use for about a year and a half before I could afford Cam Studio. And that was Camtasia Studio. Um, I did a video, it's actually one of my most popular ones on how to capture in 720p and 1080p. That did such a good job that people were actually kind of sad that I moved away from it when I first started moving away from Camtasia. So that kind of gives you an idea that it's a it's a really solid piece of open source software if you can get over the interface issues. Um, once you've used Camtasia Studio though, you do have to have a separate editing software. I used Cyberlink PowerDirector that came with my laptop. Uh, I think you can buy it for like 60 bucks. Uh, I liked it a lot because it allowed me to do a lot of flexible editing. Uh, but what I'm doing in this video right now, I'm using Windows Movie Maker. Uh, Windows Movie Maker, the new one, is is a really good tool. It works really well, and it's free. It comes with Windows 7, uh, came with Windows XP. I haven't used the XP one in a while, but uh, this one, it's it's worked phenomenally well. Um, I've actually even used Adobe Elements Premiere, and I didn't like <laughs> I didn't like the fact that it wouldn't capture my uh, video properly. So you could spend all the money you, you want, but uh, it all comes down to simplicity and deployment, what you're really kind of going for. So to summarize, I do have a, I do have a microphone. I, I invested $100 in that. So all around, my production value is really mostly in software, $300 for Cam Studio, and you can get away with doing it without it. My webcam right here, $500. Bucks. No, whoa, uh, $50. Bucks. Uh, the Blue Snowball microphone, Blue Snowball, remember that? amazing audio for a hundred bucks so that's 150 and then um, my lighting is a fluorescent light bulb uh, you can go to Menards and get those uh, five dot five to fifteen dollar little uh, pointy lights I don't know what they're called <laughs> floodlights or whatever 
and just put a regular standard light bulb in it and just get a bunch of different wattages so you get the proper tone you want. I've known people to do that. That's worked really well. Um, so, I mean, there's really a cost-effective way to produce high-quality video if you're willing to sit down and kind of learn how to use the tools. And, of course, once you uh, get rolling and start making all kinds of money, which obviously I'm not, uh, you can go out and buy the high-dollar HD cameras that are capturing your video. But, you know, I mean, you might lose the charm at that point. People kind of like people who are underdogs and trying to make their way into... At least I like to hope they do. So that's all there is to this video. Um, I hope that answers your questions. If you have any questions about that, make sure to swing by the forum and post them there. Uh, also, follow me personally on Twitter, uh, at Craig Chamberlain. You can follow the company as well. That's at PC Michiana to keep you up to date on all the videos that are coming. Um, I also have the Facebook page for uh, PC Michiana, PC Michiana Tech Help Show. Um, I post all my video updates there, and you can share them with friends and things like that. Uh, I also post my newest updates at all the networks, so follow on your favorite network. Um, you can follow me on my personal Facebook page. I don't really put anything too private on there. It doesn't bother me. Uh, and of course, I'm on all the LinkedIn's and things like that. So like this video if you liked it, and uh, stay tuned. I got plenty more videos. I got a lot of good ideas uh, coming up, and uh, I thank you for taking your time to watch me. Thanks.